Hello, welcome to OnTrack TV. In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to take a photo of a sky background that is quite boring and jazz it up with a beautiful sunset in the background. So actually, the two photos here, we have the before and the after, and that's why I'm going to be showing you what to do. So let's open up our Photoshop here. We'll make it full screen like so. And I'm just going to exit all of this project because we are going to restart. I'm going to bring in my two images. So the first image you're going to need is the sunset that you want to work with. So this is the one that I chose. And the second image that you're going to need is the photo of the boring sky that you want. So here we are. And what we're going to do is select just the sky at the top here. So the tool that we're going to use for that is the crop tool right here. I'd recommend using the perspective crop tool, which we made a video on, and just select it. I don't want to get these shadows or trees in it. I don't want anything else, just the sky. And when I'm happy with that, I'm going to click enter. I'm then going to choose my move tool. I'm going to drag this and bring it into the other image here that I'm working with and release. And we're going to need to free transform that. So let's go down to free transform. I'm going to hold down that shift key so that nothing is distorted. And I'm just going to make it a little smaller because as you can see, this image is much larger than this one. So we need to match it up a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm placing this sky onto the sky that is in the photo already. So we can make it a little bit longer, kind of get all of it in there, make it a little bit shorter like so. So if you can see the skyline here, I'm matching with this new sky. All right, when you're happy with that, click enter. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to left click and I'm gonna convert this into a smart object. And I'm also going to duplicate it. Okay, so now I have two of it's gonna ask for a name. For now, let's not worry about it. I have all my layers right here. So this is the first layer, this is the second one. I'm gonna click onto the second one, I'm gonna drag it down, and I'm gonna match it right below it. And what I'm gonna do is flip it horizontally because when a sunset is setting onto water specifically, it's going to reflect. So we're gonna need to do another transformation. We'll go down to the transform option and we'll flip vertical. So now it's like a reflection onto the water. And also, as you can see, the water ends over here in the photo and it's also ending here. So I kind of matched up both parts. Now with that, I'm gonna add on some filters onto this. So I'm still selected onto the reflection layer and I'm gonna go to blur and I'm gonna click on the Gaussian blur and I'm gonna kind of just play around with this until it looks the way that I want it to look, like a reflection, click okay. I'm gonna add in another one here because I want even more of effects onto this, maybe the motion blur and play around with this as well, just to make it the way that I want it and click OK. Then I'm probably gonna have to move that up a little bit. If I just show you what I'm talking about here and I use my, um, my magnifying glass, the blurs and filters created this space. So there's the man in the background there. So what I'm going to need to do is, sorry, just zoom that out, go back to my move tool and just move it up a tiny inch like that. All right, so once you have done that, my layers are looking the way I want it, and now I just need to use a mask to mush all the layers together. So I'm going to first shift and select both of these layers. I'm gonna merge them together because I'm happy with the way they're looking, and I'm going to turn them off. I'm gonna click onto this one, and I'm gonna go to the channels here, and the channels are gonna help me look at the different colors I have. And I'm gonna hold down the control key and click on the red, and what that's gonna do is select all of the important colors here, and I'm gonna create a layer with them. So I'm gonna go back into my layers, I'm gonna go back over onto this one, make it visible again, and I'm gonna add in a layer. And just like that, the colors that we selected turned into a layer and mushed everything together. So that was really easy, all right? Especially for beginners, we use a lot of the effects and tools that we have been learning. We just use them and we were able to take a layer add a few extra things to it, not just simply creating a layer, but create a layer and then make a photo much more spicy to look at. So thank you so much for tuning into this lesson. Remember to visit www.ontracktv for more videos on Photoshop and Adobe CS6. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.